there, this is Chris Callow with MusicGrid.com. Let's take a look at the new Woofoo widgets. Now, Woofoo is a great uh, system for building forms to embed in your website, and we have two wid widgets um, provided for you in this widget pack. Now, one of them is this open form button, so you click that, and a form opens up that's connected to Woofoo. Those are the settings there, and the other is an embeddable form widget. Now these are controlled by the Woofoo Form Manager online, so once you've placed them on your website, you can manage them here. So you'll need to open a uh, an account with Woofoo, which can be free, or you can upgrade to other accounts. And um, with this we have our form here, and we have lots of different um, options here. But we're not going to go into all of those, we're just going to look at how we would embed one of these forms. So I'll leave you to investigate Wufu itself, but it's a very, very useful tool. You can even take payments and it has all sorts of features. So how do we actually embed? What, do we, what are we gonna need? Well, if we click on this form here, this sales lead, um, oh, let's click on the code, sorry. Let's click on the code here. And we can grab our code, but the easiest way is to go to the API information, which is this button here. And then we want to grab this code here. That is the um, code for the, the reference to the Wufu form. So now we've got that, we will go over to Muse and we'll see how we can add that to a page. So here we are in Muse now. I've just opened up a blank site and we've installed our Wufu forms pack. And let's first of all, grab the pop-out form widget let's put that on the page we have our options there now the actual link the hyperlink style is controlled by the hyperlinks uh, manager here so if we click on the styles here and edit these we're just going to switch this out to white and we're going to switch off underlining click OK and now if we update our form, let's say change the corner radius, we'll see that it takes on the default style. So now that's a nice white button. We have the options to change the border radius, the, um, the form height that opens up, and um, other options like the rollover color of this button. But notice here we've got the Wufu form ID, and that's where we would paste that form ID. So I'm going to paste that one in there. It's exactly the same as the one that's in there as default, but you will need to use your own form. Otherwise, if somebody fills the uh, the form in um, that we've put in, um, it will just go into our account. So that's been updated now, and that is it. You can change your options, your your colors, and so on in here but that's basically it now if we that's the form button if we wanted to place the other form widget onto the page we just drag it out now this is using our default form which is quite big but um, Wufu forms also automatically resize the content so you can see as we slide this here the the form will will actually scale with the content and we click on the options here we want to change that username to whoever the manager of the um, service is. So for us, it's MuseGrid. So that would be your own username in there. And we have a form ID in there. Now I'm going to put this new form ID in here. And we can see that this is the, the copy, the form. And if we switch show header off, that will hide that content so that we just have the form so we can put our own things in there. And that's it. That's how you use the Wufu form widgets. Very useful service for adding, um, for building complex forms. And um, let's see how you use it. Thanks for watching.